Hey everyone, so today I have this sultry vampire look for you all. For this tutorial I collaborated with buycostumes.com and they provided me with a beautiful gothic style dress and this was the makeup look that I came up with. They have a fantastic range of costumes on their site so I'll leave the address and their social media links down below if you're interested in checking them out. And if you want to see how I created this look, then just keep watching. I'm starting with the skin today, so prior to foundation I'm going to prime my face. This will create a barrier between your skin and the makeup. It'll increase the longevity of your foundation and overall I find it just gives a much smoother finish. Next you want to give the skin that washed out kind of gaunt appearance. To achieve this I'm going in with my everyday foundation because I'm as white as a ghost anyway. If you prefer you could use white face paint either, it doesn't really matter, whichever works best for you. I still have a small bit of fake tan on so I'm going to take it down the neck as well. If you are of a darker skin tone ensure to cover all areas of exposed skin with the face paint or foundation. I'm going to go over the lips as well so that will give us a nice base for our lipstick later on or you could leave the lips like this if you didn't want to add any colour. Just like I primed the face I'm going to go in now with an eyeshadow primer and do the exact same thing. I'm applying it to the eye area and then I'm just blending it out. Now I'm taking a bruise wheel and I'm using the lilac shade to add some eye bags and just to darken up that inner eye area, mainly to give us that kind of haggard look. I just completed one eye and came back, so the next step is to further intensify the eyes to make them look even more tired. I'm using a blue shade now over the purple and I'm following my own eye bags and using them as a guide. Aside from the eyeliner, there's no precision work in this makeup look. I'm using a grey eyeshadow now and applying it all over the lid as a wash of colour. Then I'm going in with a slightly darker grey and just repeating the process. The final colour I'm using is a black in the exact same way. You don't need to be an expert at creating smoky eyes for this look. If you noticed, I didn't set the cream from the bruise wheel and I kind of like the look of the eyeshadows creasing up on the eyes. It all adds to the effect, giving you that really worn look like you've had the eye makeup done for hundreds of years. So all I've been doing is adding the black, blending it, focusing the colour in the inner corner of the eye, giving you that nice depth, and then just re-intensifying the colour and just applying and blending as needed. Then I'm going to go in with a white eyeshadow and I'm applying this under the arch of the brow only and it'll give us that nice contrast from the dark shade in the inner corner of the eye. For a liner I'm going to wing it out and do a point on the inner corner. Like I said this is probably the only maybe difficult thing about this look and I already have a full tutorial on to create the perfect winged liner so if you have trouble doing that I'll link it below. So I've just created the cat eye and then I'm going to pull down the eyeliner into the inner corner of the eye into a point and then I'm going to bring it back across the lower lash line and I'm keeping the black liner as close as I can to the lower lashes. Once I've that complete I'm taking the black eyeshadow and I'm running it along that black line just to smoke it out. Now you all know I hate applying liner to my waterline but I found an easier way to do it. I apply it on this brush here which is a kind of funny shape, it's flat but I take the crayon onto the brush and then I'm able to tight line my eyes quite easily with that as well. So I've applied some lashes and then I'm applying some mascara to my top and bottom lashes as well. So now we need to set the foundation in place. So I'm taking a white powder and as you can see I'm not really being precise with this. I'm throwing it on any which way. 
I don't want to have nice pretty porcelain skin I do want it to be quite patchy and I want it to have that worn look like the eyes will have so next then I want to contour the face but I didn't want to add any color to the face by contouring but I still wanted to have some structure so I went in with a grey eyeshadow the same one I used on the eyes and I'm using this then to recede those areas of my face the cheekbones, the jawline, down the sides of the nose, under the lip and around the hairline. For the lips I'm going in with a kind of vintage red lipstick and I'm using it on a lip brush so that we get a lighter application. Again I'm going for that worn look and then to finish off the look I'm going to take some gel blood and I'm feathering out the blood on a stippling sponge so it's a bit smeared, a bit messy, kind of like you've just been feeding. And once you have that done, that's the finished look. All you have to do is add some fangs and of course your costume and you're ready to rock. Thanks so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next one.